G'day everyone. Well, I thought I'd do a bit of an update on how my phytoplankton culture chamber is going in my uh, custom designed sump. And as you can see, <laughs> it is just gone crazy. It is now such a dark green. Um, I think it's been culturing now for about six weeks, uh, maybe seven weeks tops. Um, last night, um, actually I think it was more like, so yesterday I uh, drained out about two litres. Um, I'm a bit worried that if I allow the culture to uh, sit for too long that it'll crash. Um, so I thought I'd um, siphon out two litres um, and put it in the refrigerator because um, I'm sure as anyone would know that it has done phytoplankton before um, that it can crash on you so I thought it'd be good to um, keep some as a backup in the refrigerator it does keep for quite a while in the refrigerator and you can still culture from it but it is such a deep dark green now I've actually got a um, power head in there circulating and you can't even see it um, this chamber for the phytoplankton I believe holds about nine liters um, I've now drained out two liters um, I'm now thinking um, I might drain out two more liters um, I'm worried that if I let it sit for too long that it might crash. Um, so I thought, yeah, if I take out another two litres and then I'll just add um, some fresh uh, so, um, salt water um, to refresh the culture and keep it going. Um, so I'll get that underway. I'll just pause it for now because I need to set up a bottle and uh, siphon into it. So here we are now. Got it siphoning into a two litre bottle. <clears throat> really see how beautiful green the phytoplankton is. Since I don't have any Kato yet. which actually got some Kato coming this week and I don't have a lot of uh, macroalgae in the tank yet either. Um, I'm actually culturing more phytoplankton than what I need so I'm actually thinking of buying some glass containers uh, the type you can get from Walmart and um, with the little tap on the bottom and um, start culturing some copepods and um, so later on down the track once we get the 125 up and running I'd also like to start a seahorse tank so it'd be really good to have a copepod uh, culture uh, happening but as you can see this phytoplankton is doing really well nice deep green I can even put my hand behind it you can't even see my hand through it it's so thick so that's a really good culture really happy with the progress of my phytoplankton couldn't be happier with it so now I'm gonna have four liters stored in the fridge and um, I'll have still having um, I mean I'll, I'll top this up probably with another four litres of salt water um, and every day it does dose from that bottle there um, salt water doses into the phytoplankton chamber once a day 100 mils so I am actually thinking of uh, redesigning that idea where um, 
I'm going to get a, once I get the 125 set up, I'm going to get another um, dosing pump. And then just with this dosing pump, the Jabo dosing pump, I'm actually going to, um, well, I'm currently dosing the salt water into the phytoplankton. But once I get another dosing pump for the nutrients, which will be on the 125, I'll be solely using this dosing pump for the phytoplankton. So I'll be dosing um, water, salt water into the phytoplankton chamber um, once per day. But then I'll also be using the dosing pump to draw out the phytoplankton out of the chamber to dose the tank. And, uh, and instead of siphoning like I am now, um, which I'll be using um, for culturing copepods for the seahorses, um, which I could also, you know, seed the tank with copepods as well. Um, yeah, I'll be using the dosing pump to um, dose the tank. She's just about full. So yeah, I've got a, a few, few changes that I've got in mind, better ways of doing it, but um, I, I don't really need to be dosing uh, this tank at the moment with phytoplankton. The lights are just starting to turn on, but you know, I don't have a whole lot of macroalgae up here yet, but it's going to be a display refugium, so it will in time have a lot of um, macroalgae. About stop that siphon now. So yeah, my culture is doing really well at the moment. Very happy. I may even talk to my local fish store to see if they'd like to take some phytoplankton. But yeah, look at the colour of that. You couldn't ask for better. Might be able to trade at my local fish store. It might be interested in taking some phytoplankton. But yeah, got a few plans. So now the chamber is about half full again of phytoplankton. Now I can top it up with um, salt water to refresh the culture and keep it alive and happy. Another thing I've also been doing is checking the salinity of the phytoplankton. Um, because you've got to remember the same as in a normal reef tank um, with evaporation. If you replace um, evaporated water with salt water, it raises the, the salinity. Um, it's the same with the phytoplankton. I've been keeping an eye on the salinity of the phytoplankton and I'm trying to keep the salinity around um, 1.020 and if it rises a little bit then I just add some RO water. Um, I mean it's going to get a bit of evaporation too from the phytoplankton plus you know if I'm draining it out um, and you're adding salt water it's going to raise the salinity so yeah, just keeping an eye on the salinity of the uh, phytoplankton as well and making sure it doesn't rise too high because you know, I believe that can also cause phytoplankton culture to crash if you uh, allow the salinity to rise too high. So yep, just keeping that in check, keeping an eye on it. And uh, so far so good. This is about now six or seven weeks in my custom built uh, sump with a phytoplankton chamber. Doing my own culture in here and um, yeah, still got the um, float valve to um, dose as the chamber overfills um, which is also a safety in case the power goes off I don't want the tank water going in the, that float valve will turn um, off if the sump water rises too high and stop any tank water from entering the phytoplankton chamber so I don't want um, tank water going in there because it's a high salinity plus I don't want any copepods or any other pods going in there eating my culture so but yeah planning on changing that design 
and have it completely hooked up to the uh, dosing pump so it will dose in salt water and then also dose the phytoplankton into um, the sump. So I've got a more exact measured dose going in every day so I don't want to overdose. Um, so yeah, all looking good so far and really happy. So let, let me know what you think in the comments below and if you like the video give it a thumbs up and, and if you're not subscribed hit that subscribe button and I'll get back to you on the next video.